they can potentially keep themselves in MPL M1. I mean, generally, they, they want to do the exact same thing. Early game composition decide to play around Soul's lane, and they're going to gank Bunny as many times as possible after seeing what RSG did to Vamos when Bunny came up online. They're going to play a traditional front-to-back. Grippo just has to buy as much time as possible, but the whole boys will own this early game. Well, the Land of Dawn opens up once again as we witness a battle between two long-time MPL mainstays. Both sitting at the bottom of the standings. Any points they can claim will go a long way to keeping their journey alive. All right, let's jump right into it. RSG on the blue side once again, starting with a purple buff start for Ilham. Homeboys on the red side with Amal also starting on his own purple buff. Will there be the leash to buff Amal onto level three? It looks oh, like that yeah. is the case. So this time, Stone is scouting it out. No. Right, he does get the reset. No, Stone's too smart. Amal, all of his effort wasted. That's gonna be a bit of a delay. Amal, he's not even gonna bother with the buff. He's gonna go for the smaller camp first, waiting for the cooldowns to get it before he heads to his buff. Uh, it's a slower level 3, not too much slower, but enough to make sure that Ilham will be able to hit his level 3 first, and so he will not be cheesed the same way he was in game 1. Alright, let's take a quick look at the emblems before we move further than this. Looks like nothing is out of the ordinary. RZ, very standard early game as well. Homeboys, they do have a little bit of a lead of their own, but honestly not that big of a deal. Wow. Oh. I'm uh, not too sure if he got caught out unexpectedly there, but three members from Homeboys get first blood. This is going to give them advantage for Turtle. Rippo and Storm are both in the area, but so are four members of the Homeboys. Izanami not level four yet, though, so no no RWM. Amal secures the Turtle. Not much RSG can do. They back away. Now that first initial before, they're going to take it a little bit more slowly, which is respectful, but oh, the flicker wall charge catches out Izanami in the mid lane. The rest of his team comes to back him up. Izanami gets the shield from RWM, keeps him alive long enough to trade himself for Ilham. Unlucky, unlucky, but I think Homeboy took more casualties there. Sorry, RSG took more casualties there. Wait. It's not okay. I mean, he's taking a bit of a beating here by Crush, but now the collapse. Uh, three members. I'm of course going to be used. Rory's pathway blocked off by the wall, but he's still able to walk around it. A lot of resources used by RSG. Mm. Score is about to equalize here, but at least for the side of Homeboys, taking out Ilham. Wait, hold on. Bye bye in trouble. A beautiful CC chain, and Crush finishes off the Vexana as Maul gets the ejector on Storm, throws him back into Rippo, stunning both right under the turtle. Turtle dropping very low right now. Ilham on top of it, but Amal dashes in and steals it away at the last second. Homeboys. Uh, Ilham overtook e the EXP lead against Amal roughly, I would say, like five, six minutes into the game. Yeah, I think you would be correct to assume that. We're almost eight minutes in. Stone gonna spot it in the river. The flicker ejector onto Maima! Throws him back into the jaws of Amal. Stone uses flicker to get away from the glorious pathway, but he is still very, very low and is a Nami. Going to whack him to death. They're gonna keep on trying to force this underneath their turret though. But on the opposite side of the map, their tier twos are about to collapse as Nolan has been pushing this entire time. Oh boys, finally get a good chunk, but Ilham takes a bit of a nibble before he leaves. As long as RSG is still able to get some nibbles in return, they are not totally losing out, but Homeboys is slowly getting more and more advantage. There needs to be a more decisive victory from RSG. They use the Conceal, but Glorious Pathway. Oh, Crush actually trapped behind the wall. So RSG doesn't quite have enough burst damage, and now the real woman Manipulation comes out. Meanwhile, Amal on top of Ilham chases him away. Infernal Pursuit being used by Ribbo. He finally finishes off Crush, but he trades himself for it. Not sure if it's worth it, as Storm gets the wall. Knocks up two. Zaman Four is used by Bunny. Ejector to stop his advance. And oh boys, walk away. All right, all right. 2.7 A lot of their resources in the last fight. And homeboys are blitzing it down. They know the timing. They know the cooldowns. Free Lord going over to red side. Nicely done by the homeboys. Uh, RSG MY haven't been making too many proactive plays. They've just been reacting to the homeboys. And I think right now, what they need to see is an RWM come out from Izanami. Maybe an unstoppable force from Mal because that gives the green light for Stone to look for the play. Watch charge just whisk completely. Well, you're gonna feel pretty good about that one as Ilham tries to see if he can burst someone down, but he's already behind. That's crazy. I mean, they're gonna get zoned off. I mean, Crush is gonna get zoned off here. But RSG, I don't think they're getting stat checked just yet. I think Crush maintains that front. Crush really doing a good job this game of solo holding back RSG MOI. Wasn't too sure if the Hylos EXP would work too well considering Fovius does win the 1v1, but. Crush proving himself more valuable. 
if Crush is gonna continue showing his value, he needs to start slowing down his targets. So far, Maima only caught three times this game, and that's when you see Arashi and Boy really struggle when they don't have their anchor to fall back to. In terms of damage deal, Izanami's still on top with Maima catching up quickly, but doesn't have the items to compensate for the last uh, for the last 5,000 damage behind Izanami. Uh, he is behind Izanami. But now, Luminous Lord, this could be it. I don't think it's a checkmate angle. I think it's very defendable by RSG MY, but they need to bait out the RWM. Yeah, they need clean play. They gotta time it. Because if homeboys have all of their resources when the Lord is on top of the crystal, RSG, their legacy could end here. They dance around for a little bit. We're expecting the engage to come on through, but first, Guardian's Barrier from Stone. Not gonna get thrown out just yet. Yeah, homeboy still focusing on the rest of the inhibitors. Glorious pathway to cut off RSG while they deal with the Lord on their crystal. Mid inhibitor is already gone. Maul jumps in, not able to find the throw though. But Soul doing so much damage. Izanami finishes off Stone. Real Mentation already used as Amal secures a killing spree onto Rippo. Crush still alive after everything. Zaman Force used, but he finally takes him out. But the crystal is exposed, and the homeboys are not gonna let this chance go. The legacy of RSGMY ended at the hands of their longtime rivals. Oh. oh, a painful loss for the whole boy. Uh, a painful loss for RSG. A well-needed victory for the homeboys in a 2-0 in a matter of fact. A 2-0.